Hey my connectors and welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to do a car mukbang. It's just me and Khalil. He already started eating y'all. So we got um flame broilers. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of uh, flame broilers. But they're like, what is it, grilled? Like a grilled chicken bowl. Mm-hmm. I'ma um take it out so y'all can see it. I can go ahead and eat, right? Go ahead and eat, Chad. Cause he's hungry, y'all. Let me see if I can. All right, so that's chicken. Which way? Okay, chicken, um, rice, broccoli. What else is that? Green onions. There's a carrots, carrots and cabbage. He says, and it comes with this little magic sauce, and it's really, really good. Oh, well, really, you don't even need sauce with it, but the magic sauce is really good. So. So it's just me and Khalil today. He was hungry. Mm. Oh, and then we're, um, <clears throat> you gonna drink that one? Yeah. We're gonna try these little watermelon drinks. What kind you got, Khalil? Blueberry watermelon. I think, did I get the aroma? How is it? It's okay. I told you to get you a backup drink, but anyway, this is what we trying out. Y'all know I like to try little drinks. So this is watermelon juice. And Khalil got blueberry watermelon juice. So yeah, y'all. It's about to storm out here, so that's why it's kind of dark and gloomy. But look, it's a good thing. The rain is about to start. And I don't know, would you consider this a healthy bowl? I don't know, I don't think so. Yeah? Really? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Because I don't know what the sauce is on it. Yeah, I mean, the sauce dries it up. It's really pretty much just like salt. The sauce is made with salt? Mm-hmm. I think it's like 400 milligrams of sodium. Really? This is a little magic sauce, y'all. This is supposed to be like a little lazy Sunday, I guess you can call it. What's in here? Soy sauce and what? Honey or something? That's what it smell like. You want me to look it up? Yeah, see what's in it. <clears throat> Cause you know they probably got a um, copycat recipe. And then I also asked for triple hot sauce with mine. Oh, I asked for hot sauce with yours too, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Did you want it? Not yet. That's the little hot sauce. So, me and Khalil was in here talking about, what were we talking about? Oh, how you rephrase stuff. Because he doesn't really get excited about too many things. Well, yes, you do. Movies, I guess. Movies and... Disney. Disney. But... And he asked me, what'd you ask me? How to live a fulfilled life. How to live a fulfilled life. And to me, I think it starts with gratitude. Because if you don't start life off with gratitude, I just don't think anything that you achieve or you get, you'll be satisfied with. That's what I think. So if you're grateful for the things that you have in your life at this present time, anything else in addition that comes in your life, you'll be happy with it. But if you're looking at your life now about what, it, what you don't have, what you miss him, you know, comparing yourself to other people, you will never be happy. Never. And that's what I think creates like jealousy and envy because you want what others have instead of looking at what you do have already and not being grateful for it. That's what I think. It must not be too bad. You keep drinking it. It's like 
good and gross at the same time. It's <laughs> good and gross? I don't know. So that's what I think, y'all. I think life just begins with the just being grateful for what you have and where you are. And you said to you is what? Just taking one day at a time or something you said. Mm -hmm. And then Khalil, Khalil likes to use words like, he says it's not negative. He likes to say stuff like, I'm broke. And I always tell him <clears throat> to stop saying stuff like that because you're not broke. You have somewhere to live. You have money in the bank. So you're not broke. There are people that are broke, you know, that don't have anything. And I think that anything you start off with, I am, anything that follows I am, it almost like you put it out there and it's trying to find you. I am broke. I am this negative. I am um, lazy. I am, you know, I just think anything that follows I am follows you. It, it almost tries to follow you. But if you use some, he said that's not negative. It's, it's factual. But you can have less than what you have right now. Then I'd still be broke. It wouldn't change anything. If I'm more than he says it's the way that I take things. It's the way that I perceive it. Mm -hmm. But I just think you can rephrase it. And he was like, why would you rephrase it? It's still the facts. I'm still the same. Because if you say I am broke, but I want to change that. It didn't change anything. I don't know. I just wish he would use different verbiage. <coughs> I do. But you are grateful for what you have in your life now. Yeah. I don't know. I'm content. You're content? Are you? I'm very content. I'm just, I'm happy. <coughs> I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with my kids. They are just, I don't know. I'm striving for more. If money was no object and if we were in a perfect world, what would you want to be doing right now? If you can just stop everything. I'm listening. <laughs> I can't stand them if on. Like, if you, if, if you could just stop everything and somebody say, you know what, pack your bags, whatever you want to do, let's go. What do you want to do? I don't know, Disney Cruise. You going on vacation? Skydive. You a skydive? I didn't know that. Make movies. So why would I say that I was skydiving and all y'all was like, no, Mom. I What was that, Kenya? <laughs> You're doing too much. I never said that. Want to go? No. Why would we want to skydive and then tell you you can't? I don't know. One of was like, no, mom. I know that. You've already done that before. What? Skydive. Oh, me? You did the sky jump thing. Oh, I did the sky jump, but I haven't jumped out of my airplane. I jumped off the building. Mm-hmm. What other question you got for me? No. This is the only one I was thinking about. We only see his personality when he when his he's with his twin. 
They can't function without each other. We can. <laughs> They're like attached at the hip. So, which is cool to grow up, you know, with your brother and your sister or your sister being your best friend. Because my sister is like my best friend, but their relationship is going to get them put out one day. Because every time I go to say something to Keanu, he has to give his opinion about the situation. That's my child. And I think he forgets that sometimes. <clears throat> He's so protective of her. He forgets that his dad and I gave birth to the little girl. He have to have his opinion in everything when it comes to her. So they both gonna get put out. <laughs> but no, that's good to have a very protective brother. Y'all hear that thunder? Now something that was supposed to be gross, you tore it up. It really is. You haven't even tried to try. I don't know. Have y'all had this before? I guess I don't like watermelon. Hmm? I guess I don't like watermelon. Oh, you don't? Or do y'all have a flame broilers? I had never heard of flame broilers until they... Is they like? I don't know. Cold pressed and pasteurized, vegan and gluten free, non GMO project verified. It's okay. Are we still going to JC Penney's? You want to go today? <clears throat> Is the sale today? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so cool. Yeah, this is just a quick mukbang. We sit down here in the parking lot. Police probably gonna come up here and be like, what y'all doing? Hot is hot. You don't like hot stuff, huh? I do. Just not like that hot. Yeah. You get that bowl fast. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that fast. <clears throat> Was that lightning? Where? I'm not gonna saw lightning over there. doing on this lazy Sunday? Well, it might not be lazy Sunday for y'all because it might not be raining and dark. It is literally almost like it's about to turn, what, 5 or 6 o'clock? Yeah. And it's like 1 o'clock here. What's a big bowl? I didn't realize... What's wrong? <laughs> Who's so quiet, y'all? I hear the total up. Now, Keanu would have been in that back seat. He'd have been talking up something. They can't function without each other. Can I eat, hmm? Can I eat, eat the rest of my food? No, I just want to bed. Oh, it's hot. 
I put this the hot sauce on it. You drowned it. I didn't drown it. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. You should have got you two bowls. No, I'm good. I just wanted to taste it with the hot sauce. Oh, oh. Which one you like better, yours? Mm -hmm. It's too, too hot. Much. You put too much on it. Put too much what? Oh, magic sauce. Mm -hmm. We like your dad. Y'all just, you know, drizzle. I just it pour it on. <laughs> what, drown it? Mm -hmm. She drowned all her stuff in that, like that green hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno hot sauce. You gotta write your paper. Oh, yeah. You don't have time to go to the store. You gotta be in by 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got it halfway done. How many pages gotta be? Hmm? You got a 10 page paper due at midnight? Yeah. You got a 10 page paper due at midnight? How many pages you already got? Done. Good no! Amount. Huh? Good amount. Like what? Four? Six? Khalil! Two. You got two? No, I've been working on it for a while. There's only like three pages left. Oh my goodness. I'd be panicking right now. What if the lights go out? <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, God, y'all. Let me have me this thing. All right, y'all. Because I didn't know this boy had a 10-page paper. Due at midnight. This your midterm? Yeah. And you not panicking? No. Sure. <laughs> I would be losing it. Okay. Come on. Let's go home. These kids these days, honey... All right, thank you guys so much for joining us on this little car up money. We got to go home. The boy got a 10-page paper due mm. by midnight. All right, love you guys so much. Thank you for <clears throat> watching this video, subscribing, liking, staying connected with my channel. I really appreciate it. Much love to each and every one of you. Peace and blessings. Bye, y'all. Pray for him. Hold this, child, so we can go home. This boy here is silly.